Morning guys, Saturday morning, half past ten. Uh, I'm going to try a spring of wet. We've had so much rain through the night. Everybody's uh, moaning about the wet, wet, but that's good for it. Good for it. Right, I'm now going to uh, try and start down there. I'm going to be covered in mud today. First thing I get shouted to, put the kettle on. <laughs> right, off we go. Uh, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try. I think that's a good idea. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm full of harebrained ideas. My old girl reckon I'm full of harebrained ideas. Right, I'll move them out of the way. If I can get that edge standing up, and then the other side's got to be built up, and the ends have got to be built up. A lot of activity up here today. I think somebody else has got a new plot. I don't know. Right, off we go. Look at this. This is a guy trying to saw a bit of wood who ain't got a clue how to use a saw. He's building another house. I think he's building a chicken house, or it's a little house for Tony. There's, there's, you, looking you up in. <laughs> there's John Ola. Hey, you there we go, guys. Quirks is right. Just tell this plot. And the old boy had it, had loads and loads of them. But I dare say they're all disappearing. Right, I'm gonna crack on. Now, one minute, damp up here. Right, there we go, guys. I might have to. Well, no, I don't think I'll go any higher. Uh, you know me, I can't do a straight line. Even if I've got a piece of string down it, I still cannot do a straight line, so I'm not worried. <laughs> but that's one side. And what I'll do is I think I'll put the baton on this side and sit it on top. And then uh, if I can get the membrane and wrap it up either side, I'll be happy to this up. And now going for now we're all piling in for tea. There's the dog. Last time we left her in there, somebody forgot the window was open and uh, she come flying out. Right, off we go. Right here, guys, the old membrane. Look at this. Bindweed. The old membrane is uh, no good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a double thick membrane on here. Just try and, try and stop the old bindweed and that coming through. Look at it. You can see it. Even though it's had a membrane on, it still grows underneath. But we are getting there. Already here, guys. Well, I've dug it out because there's a oh, bind weed in it. What I'm going to do is I'll cut the tops off. I'll staple the membrane up the sides, and then I'll take my wood, this wood, and at home, I'll make it up at home, and uh, then staple the membrane on the top, and then mix this compost and ericaceous. I'll throw the bags in the bottom. Mix that up, and in they go. And hopefully, I might have blueberries. Nigel's up here. He's still saying, "Well, I've never put mine. It was just in the ground." But I don't know. Right, off we go. I nearly finished uh, putting that into the compost bin area. That'll be covered, and uh, so hopefully, whatever's in it will rot down big time in the next couple of years. But <laughs> as you can see, can't do nothing straight. Wonky eye, she call me. Right, guys, as you can gather, I'm in the gouge. Right, chitin the spuds. See, these these potatoes, these are a little bit of mouse bard first early. And they've been sitting in the front porch, right, and they've already started to chip. So, I'm going to put these out here now. I'm not too worried. I see, I don't think they'll push on too quick because it's uh, look, it's cold around me. I can't put them indoors. Should it absolutely kill me? Because we've got a uh, family round tomorrow for a nice family dinner. The get together. Yeah, look. See, up there. Oh, chips are coming along. So I put them all up here. These are my earlies. Right, we're cracking it all. As I say, look at that one. You know, and they've been sitting in the front because it's warm. We've had the centre heating on also. But I don't care whether there's a mark in them or not. I don't sort them out. I use every potato. And if you get half a dozen spuds off of one, you're lucky. Okay, guys, I thought I'd better video this. The old girl's doing my spuds for me. 
Right way up. Right way up. <laughs> She's having fun and game. She reckons that's relieving her stress. Yeah, bloody isn't it? Don't worry, we've got another sack in the... Nice in simple job. Nice simple job. That'll be all alright. I need some more egg cartons. Mm. Too many, well, Bob nicked them all, didn't he? Never mm. mind. Right here, guys. 20 kilos. Now it's barred. And my earlies. They go in my pots. That's unusual this year because I've got I've gone for two whites. Normally I have a red winter start one, but I thought well I'm going to try something different. So there we go. Morning guys, it's uh, Monday morning, half past ten. It's cold. I look a lovely day, but I'll tell you what, that's cold. It really is, and we've got the wind back again, so it's a good breeze. A lot of these are going to uh, wipe to pull a lot of these up. The bigger ones we'll take home, top and freeze. I'll then leave this totally empty. Uh, you can see the weeds are starting to come through. We had a very warm day yesterday. So my plan is, I've got some wood in the back of the van. My plan is today to get that done. And uh, filled. I've got an old membrane. I'll put the old membrane in, then I'll put a new membrane. All right, so we'll go up and see what's going on. I think there's old John up here, but that's about it. Maggie's here, there's a few people. Not a lot. I've been up here just lately. We see Tony and that. We had a good day Saturday with everybody, but too many. Oh, let's see, he's got his van back. Right, guys. Oh, it's cold. Right, guys, it's going to be quite a day, eh? Old John's got had to go because. He has to have an injection in his eye every month to six weeks or something, so that's where he's been gone. Right, so I'm going to try and crack on. It's quiet at the moment. Right guys, look there. There's the supervisor. She's supervising me. The dog's falling asleep. It doesn't make no difference about the actual height. I can stick another small one along all of this side if I wanted to, but... We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. It's only because it's sitting on top of that. Got the last bit to do, either ends. And then I'll get a membrane in it. I might put a few on this here. I've got some spare single, only about that size sort of thing. Right guys, that's that end done. I just got that in to do. I've got my membrane over there. I'll put my membrane in. I've got an old piece of membrane which comes out of it so what I'll, I'll end up putting that in on the bottom and then putting a fresh bit of membrane on the top try and stop the weeds as much as possible then I'm going to try and fill it as much as I can but I know it's starting to run out of time again it's very quiet up here today which is good because when it's quiet it means you can get on more right off we go right, so that's my old bit of membrane going in I've got a new bit to go on and up here just Staple around and then get some stuff in. Now we're gonna sit down. As you can see, the old girl's still supervising me. Yeah, guys, as you can see, I've got my membrane in on one side. What I'll do now is old John gone. I'll uh, now gonna put a load of compost. Now he's now gone. Claudette and John. Uh, I'm gonna put a load of compost in that side. Get it all settled down. Then this side will get uh, stapled up, but I'm not really worried about this side stapling up. Right, guys, as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm putting that, I'm lining the bottom of it. God, that backache. Don't tell the old girl, she'll kill me. Yeah, I'm lining the bottom of that good compost. I've got six sacks of that I'm going to put on top, and if I need any more compost, I'll just have to use the other compost bin if I can. But I think I'll be all right with the compost I've got in the containers. So I've got mid to late, mids, earlies, and I think I've got pinks. They're early summer. So early summer, that means mid. <laughs> I'm going crazy. And I think they're moving out of pink. So I'll put the pinks up fine. I'm going to leave the post because I don't know whether you have to net them or anything. Just stop the birds. I'm sorry about this, but as you can understand, I'm bleeding knackered. 
Right, off we go. I'll do a bit more. I've got to fill that corner up and then cut the membrane. We're getting there, guys. I do breathe like this, if you're anybody worried. I did used to be a smoker, but my lungs are fairly good. They really are. That's just that I like to keep myself out of breath and work out. Right, guys, as you can see, sorry about the shell. Uh, by the time I rate out, that'll be nice and level. That'll sink down, that'll drop, and I'll put some more in the other compost. But you've got to remember, I've got ericaceous compost in the pots. So we'll get them organised. Yeah, they're pinks. I should have an early, a mid to summer, and a late. And then the pinks, when they come out when they're pink. <laughs> right, guys. I've got a clip from another day. Apparently it's all changed up here. There's lots of new people coming on the plots, but there's a lot, a lot of plots, really. It'll take some hard work. <sighs> right, off we go. Uh, I'll put this in the other clips up tonight. I've got some seeds going on at home. I've, my seed potatoes are now in the garage, as you've seen. So, we're cracking on. I crack on with seeds as much as I can at the moment. Whether I'm too early or not, most things drop in. You know, if they're leggy, put them in. Bye guys, bye for now. Stay safe, be happy.